so let's have a look here. We've got our. Oh, sorry, John. That's what I had. Uh, oh, yeah, it went black, didn't he? Here we go then. So, I really like this build largely because um, we've got all three colours in, so I've got my pick of whatever cards I really fancy having in it, which is really cool. Uh, it means I can go big on removal. Yeah, and and what I need to test it against is like these big aggro decks. Can it survive against those? If it can, I'm going to really consider playing it. Um, whether it can be consistent enough against uh, your know, Pomazes. And that's the thing, can it consistently mitigate and so it can consistently mill? Oh my goodness, look at that for a hand. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of removal in this deck. Let's put that shot back because that can be a pain. Let's put one of those back. No, oh, I'm not super fast on loads of removal actually. Let's keep flank because flank is so very good. And it's always nice to start and see what's going on in their hand with an Umkar. And we've got a blackmail as well and a loose ends. Okay, that's, that's a little bit too much money in this. Never mind. So, remember we can always get more money with this deck. Alright, so we tend to roll well. I find with this one, two, three, four, five, six. That's good against their six. Okay. Three, four, five to his four. Yes, we're playing with mine. That cheers very much. I think winning the battlefield with this deck really important. Simply because, okay, you can heal. Makes no difference to me whatsoever. I'm not going to try and do any damage if I can avoid it. Things have gone wrong if I do any damage. Um, let's stick that out straight away, shall we? Let's see what he's got. Uh, okay, let's get rid of... I think let's get rid of... I feel like we'll get rid of the electroshock. Just because I don't want to get rid of my... I mean, that's going to hit most of my dice. Yes, there's that plus three, and that would be really painful if he deflects it. But... You can also electroshock the rest of the day. Okay. So we will. Um, it's always a tough start when hand hits you with that. He's got the two. I think we're just gonna. God, I really could do some shields for the guardianing, but yeah, let's do it. And we'll take the two onto the zero guard. And we roll the big fat blank. It's a terrible start. So, let's see what Ray manages here. Viber knife early on is nasty for this step because it does try and run on a lot of shields. Oh, well, though. Okay, I'm going to look out for a guard here. So, but I need resources. I can't really just play around at guard. You know what, let's try and... He's got no resources, now's the time to go for this. If I roll that plus three... <laughs> no hope of that. If I rolled the plus three, then of course I could uncar it on the next go. But I'm looking at big fat blanks at the moment. Okay, he'd have been very happy if he'd seen one of those melee sides. Uh, he's taken that resource. Do you know what? I might actually. And he's got the one for the deflect to reroll. Let's go this. Come on, Unks. Not great. Oh, a discard. That's a bit annoying. I don't really want to lose any of these cards. 
Yeah, let's just disrupt that one. Deflect's gone. Oh, he's rolled. Big fat blank. I think this is where I will discard to do a reroll now. I still have the potential. I'm not going to get loose ends off this round. I don't want to chuck it. Really like to get a blackmail out. I think I might have to chuck the best defence. That's awful. Hmm. Painful. I might corners get that big side. We've got focus, which is actually no good on his die because we've lost the own card die. Okay, he's passing. Interesting. I think. I'm trying to think what he had in his hand. Uh, nothing. <laughs> That's what he's got in his hand. He's chucked them all. It's time to take a resource, I think. And then it's time to, yep, hit this. Set that to the two, and let's do two to Ray. Not that it makes any difference. Um, don't really want to, yeah, that was just a rubbish round. Losing those two resources right at the start, ugh, was really painful, but at least we can blackmail here. I'm going to keep these. I'm going to draw two, get two resources, and I'm going to try and get that blackmail out fast. Unless he's got another ambushing upgrade to play. He doesn't, cool. rolled into the ones. Okay, so we are going to get our blackmail out. He's going to take it. Okay. We shall roll. Let's see what we managed to hit. He doesn't mind a shield so much, but he's going to. Okay. He's got the Vibra knife, but of course it really does cut Han out of the game, really. The DL44. Okay. Nasty. It's a good roll. Oh dear, it's been happening a lot on this recently. Uh, hmm. Got my resources. I have to worry about deflect at this stage. Go on, let's get a big one. It's not enough. Probably have guardians there. Ah. Okay, he's taken the one, so I could uncar's ability here. Doesn't feel like I'm getting a lot of value out of these dice. But I think it's probably. And Ray probably played out a big upgrade. You're gonna have more unpredictable. I mean, just look at these cards. What we've got one, zero, one, and no, that's what that's a zero, yeah, and a zero. I mean, it's I feel like hit a, let's do hit a reroll. Confiscation is gonna really nail second chance. Gonna be brave. 
That is a much better roll. He's discarding the second chance. Okay. Well, I can cope with that. Ooh, do I really need to play one of these? Oh, damn it, I really need to play loose ends. <laughs> That's what I need to play. This is where I could just use up a resource to get the flank and to keep that loose ends. I think I'm going to have to do that. I'll flank that. It's rubbish, but I can't fold to this deck. Oops. What am I doing? Uh, so used to just automatically having being able to play that. Um, let's hit this then. Mm, okay, got us a one. Okay, hits a confiscation, which isn't terrible. Uh, again, I'm stuck with not really being able to do anything that I want to do. I could claim and heal. Yeah, claim and heal. Right. Well, I haven't got hardly any defensive upgrades out, but we're hanging on in there. Four resources. Yeah. Cool. Now I can get an armor plating out. Okay, it's not great against the Vibra knife, but um, I feel like friends in no places first. Let's just have a good look at this hand. Get rid of something nasty. Oh, that guard's going. Okay, and then he's got a lovely hand to go and hit with Onkar. That would be great. Thank you very much. What a card to get rid of as well. That was a good friends in no places. That's how you want it. Now, of course, I'm just. We want to make clear. I'm still feeling my way through this Onkar deck. It's. It's not the easiest. Not the easiest play. Okay, I've got a couple of good cards in hit here, but you he can hit me for a painful amount. As your old, or oh, what? The anything? He's got the three melee, which is painful. The yeah, armor plating's no good to damage from Ray. Um, I don't really want him. He's going to discard the mind probe, but I've got to make him go for it anyway. Unless, of course, I just guardian. Yeah, I'll guardian. I think that's the best play here. Um, above, above, above. Let's get this out. It's not rolling very well, is it, that Royal Guard? Okay, he's got a resource. So that he can remove the blackmail die. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. He's gonna to discard to re-roll, I suspect. I'll do something with Han. Although, he's gonna pay me one. Yep. Some removal. I don't really mind him hit me with it with the two. Um, the thing to do here is roll this bad boy out. Okay, he's gonna chuck the mine probe when he sees that. He's gonna go for a big re-roll. Just not seeing any damage, is he? Uh, I think this is where I'm going to play my loose ends. Because I am not getting much damage coming at me at the moment. And I still got. A, uh, yeah, so got uh, electroshock to use. 
Can go for a big reroll. So you going to discard. Yep. He's trying to work that second chance hammer belt in, but of course doesn't need to against my deck. Oh, and he's not rolled it again. Hmm. I feel like I'm living on the edge a little bit here, so. Let's just get this out. Because I know it's not going to stop. Uh, raise dark damage, but it's going to be a big help against Solo. Um, let's discard that. Let's go for a big chunky reroll. Uh, yes, let's do it. Might hit that plus two side, which would be lovely. Oh, great. There we go. Very nice. That spot is not having any of it. <laughs> um, his last card in hand is, is worth two resources. So I think discarding it and getting two instead of the three, I think I will. So let's go for that. Feels better just to get rid of that card from his hand. I'm trying to mill him out after all. Uh, let's take a shield and then we'll hit this. So we're getting up to so we're up to six resources now, so that's strong. We like that. Uh, and we'll get our four in here. Finally we see an Imperial inspection on Savage Sand. They've been very helpful quite a lot earlier. Hello. It's all jammed up. What's he got here? Uh, so no real damage. There's that one which I could electroshock that force throw die which would be pretty cool early on. Do you know what I might just get rid of it? Yeah. I'm just going to, yeah, he's going to re-roll into it and then chuck my big dice back at me. That might be a sketchy play with lots of, uh, um, you know, damage, but, you know, he could, I might miss out on um, getting rid of a, is he passing not here? And discard me out. I need to get that loose ends off. Hmm. Yeah, very nice play, my man. Very nice play. Well done. Okay, so so I'll hit both of these. So back. No, we should play in it. Okay, cool. Uh, what should we get rid of? Let's get rid of. I guess the two. What's your old ear? of damage. I think what I shall do is we'll guard that. For speed, okay, gets him an ambush action. What's he gonna do with that? Discard to reroll. Oh, doesn't get.
get it. Doesn't get it. Let's uh, do this for Unka. Oh, there's a good card. Nice to get rid of that one. Especially when there are cards like Force Throw around. It can be very painful. As you roll it this time. Oh. I will pick up one card left in hand. Let's do this. He doesn't like killing that hand eye. He's still got a good chance of rolling something nasty here. He's taking a resource. Um, I roll in Thai pilot. goodness look at all these resources this deck can build up a lot I feel like I didn't use type pilot early enough in the round there how many has he got left he's got eight left now we see interrogation and we see jetpack I stuck a jetpack in and we've got no disintegrations so could get going with some exciting things here he's gonna get another force throw in he's overwriting the force throw with another force throw with hold out blaster, okay. Oh, this could be painful. He's going all out for the damage now. Yep, yeah, he's going with first. Oh, nice. Then he's overwriting for shenanigans. Look at this going on. This could be painful. Remember he's got the one action still after this. Could be dead Unka here. Oh, he's rolled it as well. Yeah, this is going to be all sorts of overness. Six, nine damage to Unka. So he's going to be able to say three. He's going to say six. That's going to take him. Ah. It's good work. That's what she does. I'm pretty sure that that is going to be game over there. Yeah, that's that's the round you wanted, and that's what Henry does. Yeah, see, I needed to be. Um, I'll concede here because we'll go for another one. Uh, I feel like. What's really interesting here are uh, two minutes to debrief first game. Okay, right then he doesn't like you after the resource. Yeah, totally. Hey how? So what that game felt like was I felt like I was doing okay. Um, we'd got the resources up very nicely. Um, we had. Uh, got off loose ends that's solid uh, so we were way ahead on the cards we were looking really good he was down to what eight um, and we hadn't taken super amounts of damage however that round I mean that's just devastating that's amazing ro that's really good rolling and really good use with the ambushing um, so that just felt like one of those ones where the mill decks suffer from of it just taking a bit too long and I didn't see the no disintegrations and I missed the loose ends um, and I didn't really stop enough damage early on. Fibre knife it's just painful against this deck it really is painful against this deck I perhaps need to start thinking about more about removal really going after removal on that because that's what's going to cause me real problems I think 
um, if they're constantly poking damage through those shields. I mean, you can't really do a lot about someone rolling nine damage. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's just. I mean, that that's that's what that deck can do. Um, but I feel like I should have been in a slightly better position by the time I got there. Um, I really wish um, that I'd seen jetpack earlier. I think that's going to be a really strong thing in the deck. Um, but we'll see. Right. So this time up against Luke Ray, we know this is solid. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as solid as Han Ray, but I think, I mean, it did win quite a big tournament recently, so... Now an early con artist, that could be very helpful. An early salvage stand would be like that. See, first round, I think confiscation is going to be helpful. Now, do I would I rather see con artist early or jetpack early? I'd rather see con artist early, and an armor plating. Actually, I wouldn't really rather see armor plating early. That's a see that later. I don't mind having that early. I don't want to have that early. That looks pretty good to me. I can get the other two. No, I really shouldn't be doing that. I'm only going to get one hat. If I see some removal, then great. So let's go with that. Let's draw three. <laughs> okay. Sure. Whatever deck. Let's see, so we roll three, four, five, which is pretty good. So we'll go with mine again. I mean, it's pretty much always an easy choice. We're going to go with ours. Um, don't mind him getting those shields. Uh, first things first. Let's stick out Salvage Stand. It'll make him think about doing it. Okay, he's going to go there. Nice. Now he's got another two actions because he's activating Luke. One action left. Roll Ray. Looks good, doesn't it, gang? Look at that. He's five dice out. And he hits that very nice one. Now the thing is, I don't really want to flank him, flank that away. Just get going with this con artist, and I just can have feel like I'm gonna have to roll, rely upon him not rolling something juicy. <sighs> okay, got away with that. Let's go ahead and re roll. He rolled a plus one, there's a three. That's fine, we'll royal guard it away. Stupid interface. Reroll shield, fair enough. He's going to go for another reroll. Uh, no, he shouldn't have been at one health, guys, because he had one damage on, two from armor plating, and uh, it meant the six was going through and he had four on him. Uh, let's have a look. What have we rolled? A two and a one. Well, there's nothing I can do about that now. That's going to be... Well, actually, let's do this. Yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, let's roll him. Well, it's going to hit him for two. Okay. Oh, dear. Sorry, guys. Annoying watching things like that, I know. Uh, let's just roll Tie Pilot out. <laughs> Nearly hit that three for one. It's so good. So I think what we will do is got one card left in hand. 
Um, I'm going to discard one of these jetpacks to reroll these. Okay, sort of all right ish. Actually, no, not really all that great. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll focus this to the special. We'll do the special and then we'll do the three um, on car plot for that last card. It's a guard, of course it is. Okay. Right. Well, first things first, friends in no places. Ugh. Very fast ray going off. <laughs> Sure. Okay, so we're past Imperial Inspection and we're out with a crazy damage array on the table. And oh, there goes my two resources, great. I mean, or oh, you could just hit me for five damage and basically kill Onkar. Too crazy fast. I think he's got another action. Oh. Wow. Well, I can flank away the awful dice, which I think I'm going to have to do, which is a bit of a pain. Yeesh. Not cool, because now I've got nothing to do with, Le with Luke's dice. He'll be rolling in Luke. This has gone very poorly. Right, okay, let's get rid of that. <laughs> Do, uh, yeah, deflect. But he's going to take a resource. Overconfidence. Okay, at least I get to do it. To the one which I can deal with. Dear me, that turn. Few weeks. It's painful. I was on the one shield anyway. Right. I'm in real difficulty here, quite frankly. Um. With all that damage on Uncar, <sighs> damn it, that's not good. I needed to get value out of that. I am in a lot of difficulty. Let's. Hmm. I need that one. <laughs> Sadly enough. I want to get resources, get a jetpack out, and at least play that out onto the TIE pilot. Let's do this. Okay. Two jetpack onto the TIE pilot. He has claimed. We will roll 
and of course a lot of special now. Um, I'm trying to remember what the other card was. Uh, I cannot remember it. Let's. Can I possibly get enough resources for a big confiscate? I don't know if I can. Quite like to get blackmail in, really. Oh, let's risk it for a biscuit. I'm just trying to discard him out. Of course it was. Which is free, that's fine. Okay, here we go then. Yes. Cheers, Dante. We can, of course, take the shield off the jetpack. Yeah, I'm starting to rush a little bit here now because you know that feeling when you're like, yeah, this game's probably not going to go anywhere. But what I do need to test is what sort of hang on in there ability has a deck like this got because these kind of things are going to happen. <laughs> Look at the specials. Uh, and yep, I've got no removal for it. I've literally got no removal that is going to hit that. Hmm. Can't confiscate it. I cannot do a thing. Well, that is annoying. He's still got 12 cards in his deck, yeah. I'm going to GG here. <sighs> yeah, I mean, clearly that's... Yeah. Uh, the, the, the big hit I think he's quite excited about getting off I mean my ally is the force with uh, either with that or with um, um, force throw is such a horrible strong thing to be able to do um, I mean I think Luke Ray I mean, as I said it won a, a solid um, tournament recently at uh, uh, store champs and if you're seeing these kind of cards and getting them out um, oh, it's massive um, so um, yeah those were two really disappointing games with Uncars Misfits weren't they uh, let's have a look here uh, I'm sorry Jeremy, I'm going to have to go back and have a look at it, but yeah. Why not try to confiscate Matteo? Yeah. Um, resources. I didn't have the resources to, to be able to, to do that. Um, so yeah, if, if, I mean, clearly control decks are more difficult to play with. That's We know that. But control decks are what I much more enjoy playing. The thing with this is it feels like you're very reliant upon making sure that you've got that removal in hand. Once you get to about the middle of the game it's so super important to have those big removal cards in hand and one of the difficulties I find with a mill deck that wants to play lots of cards is that if you for whatever reason, don't manage to get off your loose ends or your no disintegrations. Um, you're going to basically be going as fast as they are. You're going to discard out and so are they. Um, and ultimately, I'm feeling like, I mean, I mean, just, just look at these two decks. And we're not including things like Vader, Fast Hands Vader Raider or Poe Maz. Uh, and those, these two decks have just annihilated it um, once they've got themselves into that place where they can make the most of their upgrades um, now again I'm still feeling like there is more power in the deck and, a cl and clearly I'm making some misplays clearly I'm not playing as strongly as I could with it 
and potentially it's a deck that uh, as long as you do it's strong enough it's powerful enough it's able to deal with things but of course remember I I really am facing up to wanting to try and test for store champs and if a deck is going to ask loads and loads of me uh, on the day pressure situations and all that sort of thing that's not really what I want to be in the middle of when I could be playing a Pomaz, a Fast Hands Vader Raider and finding it much easier in terms of the decision making so I guess I guess that's the issue um, let's go one more let's see, see if you have to do one more Let's just see if he's happy to do one more because it would be quite nice to get another game in with it. I always feel like three is a good number to get a quick little feel for it for a deck. All right, okay. Looks like we're okay for one more. Oh, we can't play. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. No worries. It can be a, a shorter stream tonight, that's fine. There's definitely some... I am, I'm not finished with Uncar's Misfits. I'm re I really am not finished with it. Um, because I'm, I'm aware that I'm not playing particularly well with it there. And, of course, one of the things that I do feel to get a good uh, feel for a deck is you, you need to be playing it, you need to have a go with these decks. Um, uh, bird. Right, so I feel I feel like with Uncar's Misfits, let's have a look at what people are saying. There's no Descent good card. I think it's really, really good. I think it really is because in this instance, when you're looking at how many they're typically most opponents are gonna play play two cards a turn on average so three cards if you can discard out three cards from their hand uh, in a round you look that's you're, you're pretty much guaranteeing that you're going to be able to finish a round with them with nothing in hand so with um, a couple of interrogation droids in there with our black male in there and with Uncar's ability with some big dice with big side I'm going to put jet back in because it's got two twos and a three side on it and its other one is a disrupt so it's great for ampere inspection and of course it's got the special on it it goes really nice in this deck and it only costs two which actually feels pretty good in, in a deck like this um, and of course I can put it on these other it's not yellow only I have to put on Uncar so in a deck like this we can get quite a lot of discards happening um, and I feel fairly confident that we can really pressure their hand, if not every single round getting down to, uh, if, if, if not every single round getting them uh, cleared out, probably going to be quite close to it. So if I'm able to do that, then um, I feel like if I can just get maybe the one loose ends off, uh, or uh, those no disintegrations, in the games, because I, I played a few games uh, just in, in our sort of local meta testing nights, and it's really, really strong being able to get out those last three cards. Um, I did play a lot of a lot of games where it, it felt like uh, it was it was really down to the wire and it was really close. And who knows? There may be space in this deck because we're running loose ends and no disintegrations for that a discard, the, uh, the mill, there may be a place in here for cheat. Now cheat's an expensive card to play because I see it as it costs one resource and it costs you two cards because you've got to swap a card and you're playing cheat. So you're going to end up with two cards in the discard pile and you're going to have, a, a, yes you're getting one back, that's great, but it's costing you, when you're trying to play it, it's going to cost you two cards and that one resource, which it is quite a lot. Um, so I, whether there's space for it in here, because it is really painful if you 
uh, lose those loose ends. If they hit that one, no disintegrations, it's not the end of the world. Uh, you can discard it to things like Vader, that's quite nice. Um, and then, of course, if you've got a cheat, it becomes really great to play that second no disintegrations. Um, you know, paying two resources to mill six of their cards, I can cope with that every time. Um, so, well, uh, yeah, two because it's oh, there's two loose ends. Actually, no, you discard the one, so yeah, you're just paying for the cheat and the one no disintegrations. In a deck where you're trying to mill, it feels good. The Guardian's great. I think I think that this feels better set up against something more like. Um, a, a po ray, um, a maybe palp. It feels like it's it's more designed to sort of beat those decks. Um, of course, they're probably bigger in the meta than things like Luke Ray. But hey, I still think we need to be aware that Luke Ray is a thing, um, and the previous deck he played, um, Han Ray, is still so very good. Really interestingly, didn't see very much of that at Euros just this last weekend, but I think it is still really strong um, because it can it can play so many of the best cards in the meta, and I don't know if Uncars uh, misfits certainly in how I'm playing it. I mean that could just be two poor games, but they didn't feel great. But I will play more. I will play more of it because well, I really like it. But I have to say, at this moment, I'm starting to really lean away from doing a three-character Uncar controlly controlly type list, rather than uh, the Euro um, Champs winning deck, which had much more damage going on with it with the Uncar FN Trooper. Um, I think I'd be much more likely to play something like that. Uh, I really want to play Uncar. I think he's a fantastic character. He's a really powerful character. He's a really interesting character. Um, and so that's why I'm leaning towards um, trying to try and decks with him in. Right. So. Yeah, that's a bit annoying, Jeremy. I'm really sorry then if that was the case. That is frustrating. Because, of course, you want to get these things tested and really dig into them and, and get to the meat of them. Um, Dante's uh, is a good player, very solid player, and is really good at just. He's a great testing partner. We can really, uh, he brings good decks, he plays really solidly, and he always challenges me and tests me every time I play. So, right, uh, these guys are wondering why I'm not playing. So, um, so let's uh, drop out of this and we'll have a quick little finish up. So, Finishing thoughts, they were painful games, they were painful. Um, misplays uh, and it really felt like I didn't quite have the cards that I wanted at the time I wanted them. Um, it, it was one of those instances, and maybe you know this experience, where it feels like what's coming at you is so much greater than what you can put on the table. Um, that's not a cool place for a deck to feel like it's in. Now those could just be two um, sort of one-off games because I will admit I haven't really felt quite that powerless with Uncar before. Um, uh, with an Uncar with the Uncar's misfits, uh, if you remember from my testing before, and that didn't go so well either. Maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment here. Um, but the thing is, I keep looking at that deck list and thinking. Like, this should work. I mean, good removal, lots of good removal, uh, lots of nice big dice. You're going to be able to use Uncar. We should be able to get off those loose ends or the no disintegrations. We just got to stay alive. I think the big difficulty is hitting Vibra Knife's stuff that's going to get through those shields is really painful. And what I didn't do in the first game is prioritise removing those that Vibra Knife dice. So that was uh, definitely probably the biggest misplay just not trying to control that vibrant knife die better um, and the second game uh, oof, that was just, just brutal that was Ray at her very best going really fast and he's playing out great cards on a great upgrades and I'm sorry but anytime mind probe goes down on Ray I'm really uncomfortable I mean it's just <laughs> it's not cool because 
it ends up being like that sort of looking at the Tuscan Raider with a mind probe on, the chances are he's going to be able to roll and resolve, and that's so painful. Um, so yeah, I think one of the things just even looking at that deck is is it, it makes me fancy doing a bit of testing with Ray Luke. Um, uh, that looks fun, that deck. That looks really fun, that deck. Loads of specials, big damage. Um, uh, I mean, I've said it in, in various things. Um, my ally is the Force, I think, is a bit of a bomb event. I think it's a crazy good event. And I think when it comes to um, some of these... Uh, decks which are running big cards like your mind probes or your force throws Ugh. so very strong so I think if if you're coming up against man if you're coming up against Ray in this meta my ally is the force I mean, he actually had my ally is the force in his Han Ray deck didn't he um, and maybe he's playing mind probe in, in that build too Steve insight to Krennic Balatik deck yeah, so I played a Krennic Balatik build. Um, it's fun. My son Matteo. Uh, it's fun. Very fun. Um, my difficulty with Krennic Balatik is consistency. Uh, Krennic, for all his quality big die and cool, interesting ability, he is quite expensive. Uh, however, that is mitigated by the fact that Balatik is so cheap. Um, and. And I think I feel like there's there are some decent builds of it out there. I don't think it's going to be anything ever better than perhaps a tier two. I don't think it's going to be a tier one um, because it's not going to play lots of the very best cards in the meta, sadly. Um, but uh, I think because the difficulty is, I think Imperial Inspection, if you're playing Red Villain, is what you want to be doing, and Krennic Bala really struggles to, to play that card. Um, now it can be very shooty, I'll give it that. So it can be a, a good aggro deck, but the problem is I don't think it's a brilliant aggro deck. I don't think it's going to out aggro Vader Raider, Poe Mars, Palpatine. It's not going to out aggro, rarely out aggro Han Ray potentially. Um, I, I feel like that, you know, FN decks, FN Django, those kind of, I think those are going to out aggro it the majority of the time. Um, you can have some other little tricks in there as well of course. Um, I think Villain Red's got some cool tricks The um, and now we have them. Now we have them card, yeah. I, I think that's a great card and is really powerful. Of course you can play Rocket Launcher in the list then if you're running the Red Villain. Um, don't get me wrong, I think it can be good but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean you're running at what twenty health. There are lower decks, but it is very low, um, and I think you need to be able to make sure that you go fast, um, because you need to be dishing out that damage. You need to kill a character quickly. Uh, that's where the inconsistencies that you get with Krennic can be problematic because he's only got that one uh, damage side on his die. Um, Yes, it's great if you've got the uh, Death Trooper um, becomes m much more uh, consistent then in the damage that it's outputting, but it puts a lot of pressure on you to get that battlefield. Um, and you know, if I'm if I'm playing against you, I know so many cards in your deck are only going to work if you've got the battlefield, or you are much more of a threat when you've got the battlefield. So, uh, and if you're playing Poe Mars, well, they're quite happy to claim quite quickly, Planetary Uprising, things like that. Um, and then I I just feel like a lot of clever decks, you know, you've got to remember big characters at the moment, they'll roll their fast hands Vader and then they'll claim, you know, okay, they don't get to use their Tuscan Raider, but they don't really care. He's waiting for a better second character. I mean, Balatik is a very good second character, I have to say. Um, but yeah, mm, I, I, I think it's good. I think you put together a deck and it'll be fun and it'll win some good games and it'll perform really well in some. But it just feels like consistently it's going to be just slightly under the power curve in terms of the cards that it's running. And when you just when you when you're just rolling your basic die in that the dice in that first round, I think there'll be times you just be like, this isn't quite what I want. So I think it can be solid. I think it can be good. I think it could reach tier two. 
in the hands of a good player with a really good list, uh, well tested. But if you're happy with tier two, great, and you may well be able to make it really work for you, and you love it, and so it, it, you, you make it work for you. But yeah, I think there's other decks I'd be much keener to take if I was going to store champs, for instance. Right, I'm going to call it there, gang. Another little hour, couple of little games, some things to think about with Uncars. Um, and, and actually, do you know what? I really feel like probably the best thing that I took out of that little bit of testing with Uncars Misfits is um, that I'd really quite like to try playing Luke Ray in the latest iterations of her. Um, because uh, I love Luke and Ray's a really cool character as well. So, anyway, right, gang. Um, until next time. Keep enjoying Destiny, and uh, I'll see you soon.